Hi guys, so I'm a second year medical student at Western Sydney University. Um, so in this video, I'll basically be taking you through a day in the life of a preclinical student um, at our university. Today is going to be a fairly um, busy day. Um, I've had a look at my schedule. Um, so I have a PBL tutorial in, a, in the morning. And then I've got a few lectures to catch up to and uh, yeah and uh, let's without further ado let's jump straight into it. So I'm about to have my PBL tutorial so if you don't know what a PBL tutorial is it's basically um, you're doing what a doctor does um, in a clinic so you'll be um, getting the patient's history from that history you then um, think of possible illnesses that the patient might have and you will start to order tests and uh, investigations to um, then come to a um, possible diagnosis. Um, except um, in a PPO tutorial, you do this in a group. At the end of the tutorial, you'll be coming up with some learning objectives, and these are things that you don't you didn't understand during the tutorial, unfamiliar terms, um, some concepts you don't know, and then you, after that tutorial, you go away. Uh, try to research about these learning objectives. In the second tutorial, you then come back to present these learning objectives. Your body sees the antigen, and then there's this, the second phase, which is the effector phase, and then that's the one. That so, yep, yeah, so atopy, it's defined as a personal or familial predisposition to produce IgE. The second thing you want to do is to identify the specific um, Ig um, or the specific food that's causing the um, allergic reaction, and finally, um, if it's appropriate, then you would want to demonstrate that the Ig sensitization is is responsible for the clinical reaction, and you do that by um, having a controlled uh, challenge tests. Yep. So I just finished um, the tutorial. Um, it's lunchtime right now, so I'll just get something that I made yesterday. Uh So
So to end the day, me and my friends got together to play some video games. Since studying medicine can be quite stressful at times, it is important to always find time to relax so you can feel recharged and keep working efficiently the next day. Self-care is a priority and not a luxury is what I keep in mind at all times. My friends were also keen to talk a little bit about their medical school experiences and to give a few tips for our prospective students. Hi guys, so I have two friends here, uh, they're both from my cohort second year. Uh, so this is Jim. Hi people. And this is Shakia. Oh. So um, I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think about medical school? Uh, yeah, I think if you're gonna apply to study in Australia, especially medicine, you really need to love medicine or else it's gonna be pretty tough, mm -hmm. especially in like the later years. And yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I agree it's really tough. Like it's a lot of it has to do with like independent learning. Like you have to put in your own time to study in your own time. And um you got a lot of like organized session with other people in your cohort, but like a lot of it has comes down to how much you want to get out from it. So you have to look for your own resources and work in other pe with other people in groups and even like different groups and reaching out to people from different years, different cohorts, yeah, yeah, yeah. or different medical schools even, just to get like good resources, yeah. I want to ask you guys your experience as an international student, and um, uh, whether you had any struggles and how did you get over them? Ooh, yeah, so with struggles, I think living alone is pretty tough, but like we all live on campus, and living on campus for the first year is a very good idea, because uh, the campus is walking distance, and the library is like just five minutes away and you have your friends living with you as well so if you have any problems you can just read out, reach out to them what do you think? yeah I think um, in general like as an international student coming over to study not just like studying medicine or whatever course you want to do like it's it's obviously not going to be easy like especially if you haven't actually moved up or moved overseas yeah. to study before it's going to be difficult and thinking back like I was shipping myself <laughs> <laughs> for a word, shitting myself. Everyone might do uh, that. Yeah. I'm go I was terrified when I about the idea of moving up and not staying with my parents anymore, not under like their care, not not like having their support. It's gonna be tough. It's obviously gonna be tough, like if you haven't moved up before. Yeah. But like you got you make friends and it's just part of life. You just get used to it, and um, really you take on a more independent role. You you take care of yourself better. You. You may make mistakes, you grow from them, and then you stand up again and you take on the, the same sort of circumstances and you, you do things slightly better. And um, always try to have a good relationship or like always get support from your family and friends, yeah, yeah. especially your family. I think the two biggest struggles were just away from your comfort zone, like your parents. And then, and then the other struggle was like, I, I found it really hard to cook at the start. Yeah. Like I didn't know how to cook, yeah. but um, it's these things that like you, you living alone, like you, you gain these skills that you grow, like yeah. you, it's a skill to live alone, like you're gonna become more mature, you're gonna be more independent, and yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs>